how I always have scuffed. Every time I want to record, like, everything just breaks. So annoying. Hello, everybody. My name is Palm, and welcome to welcome back to my channel. Today, we're continuing on with Cam Cam episode 10 and 11, I think. Let's check. Yes. 10 and 11. Uh, episode 10 is Mind Freakers. Episode 11 is, uh... Cam, Cam, Camera More, Cam, Moror, Camera More, I don't know. <laughs> um, so I was gonna do the last three episodes, but I have like the biggest migraine and I'm extremely exhausted and tired. And I want to record something else after this as well, too. So I'm just gonna do two episodes as usual and then we'll just do the season finale and then we'll see if we're carrying on to season two. I think I'm carrying on to season two as well. Um, but yeah. That's the plan for today. Ignore my room in the background. I just could not be bothered. I was just throwing everything aside just to get dressed because I wanted to go see Black Panther. And yeah, and now my camera is, uh, it just it looks weird for some reason. It looks very musty. I don't know why. I need to like blow on it or something. Anyways, uh, without further ado, let's get into this video. So Nikki, was this your card? <gasps> The answer is simple. It's magic. Ta -da. Huh, of course, it makes perfect sense. Yeah! 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 Hey, Space Kid, what's going on? Harrison is doing magic. He's incredible. Psh, magic? Come on, Space Kid. I expected better from you. There's no such thing as magic. Don't you say that, <laughs> Neil, just because you don't believe. It's okay, Nikki. Neil just doesn't want his mind freaked by my powers. Sure, Harrison, <laughs> that's it. It's certainly not because I believe in the fundamental laws of everything in existence, which goes against even the slightest chance of magic even being possible. Then how do you I don't doubt Harrison's skills. <gasps> I've got money ears. Sleight of hand. The quarter is up your sleeve and the movement of your hand covers up the coin coming out. <gasps> I guess that's one way to do it, but that certainly doesn't answer how these rings link together so effortlessly. Yeah, yeah Neil, explain that. Trick rings sold specifically for the purpose of that illusion. They're on Amazon for twelve ninety five. dollars <laughs> Get wrecked, Harrison. Why don't you do a real magic trick if you're so good? So, you want a real trick? Okay, uh -oh. then, Neil. I'll perform the greatest so, like, trick of all. Regret this. How about this? Don't yak on, on his yum, Neil. Wait, what happened? Amazing, Harrison. Come on, Neil. Let's get the fuck. Uh, 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 Max, are you okay? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my God. What did you do to me? Oh, you just got Abraka owned, Max. Yeah. Wait, yeah. what? <laughs> Yes, and it would have been even better if it had happened to Neil as I intended. But you get the idea. Magic. How I do, they do not that? feel okay. Whatever. It wasn't that cool. What's the <laughs> matter, Neil? Did I freak your mind? Please. That was lame. So I don't know how you did it. Big deal. It's not like I'm going to lose sleep oh, over it. Oh, did he do it? He is going to lose sleep over it. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I'm curious, how did he do that? How did this man just make Max just eat out a whole, like, circus tent? Is he actually magical? I doubt Max would do anything. I doubt Max would be, like, in on the joke. He's, like, not gonna do that to himself. He's way too... I wanna say, cynical's not really the right word, but... Uh, that's too early. That's too early. I'm tired. You're awake. Neil, what are you? <laughs> I was just thinking about that trick that Harrison did yesterday. Not that I care about it, but I'm this close to figuring it out. And I just need to know, at what point did he surgically insert the handkerchief and rabbit into your stomach? <laughs> Were you awake for it, or did he put you under? I, I don't want to talk about it. Right, right. I mean, no one wants to talk about it. It's just a stupid trick after all. But what irks me is that the math just isn't there, you know? <laughs> He's really mathing that? Oh my gosh. Look, I don't know what happened. I just... I'm gonna go get some breakfast before this scars me for life. <laughs> <laughs> that is gonna scar yeah, Max yeah, for life? No, that's fine. Oh, I'm about to figure it out anyway, you know, even if I wanted to spend more time on it. Which I don't, because I don't care. Amazing! I feel like this is the most emotion we've seen out of Max in, like, 
Nine episodes. Well, this isn't really how the trick is supposed to work. I don't care. This is awesome. The milk goes right through it. How? What? That's kind of just like normal physics. Oh, now you're confined by the laws of physics. I thought it was <gasps> magic. Ta-da! <laughs> oh, Neil. Magic only works for those who believe in it. Like my new apprentice, Sneaky, for example. Yeah, I believe. Cut me in half. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I don't think so, Nikki. Calm down. Tricks. Uh, yeah, he said he would. I wanted to learn about a cadaver, but he said it was forbidden or some junk. But I'm learning some serious stuff. Check it yeah, out. I'm gonna learn that one. Like a card. <laughs> Look, Nikki, you gotta get Harrison to teach you how to do that trick. But I thought you said it was dumb. Forget what I said. I know he trusts you, and it's gotta be something simple I'm missing. Okay, Neil. I've got you, fam. I don't know what that means, but thank <laughs> you. Hmm. Or magic hey, exists and oh. hey, his Neil. whole you believe that kid? life is just going to be Harrison shattered in the way of thinking. It's going to be so shattered hurtful, as well, you know? too. Yeah, it's kind of shitty. I feel it's like he doesn't even care how this affects me. You? Yeah, <laughs> how can he be so selfish? Hey, Max is just like, that? I was violated uh, and you're talking about yourself? Just wait and see. So, how's your day going? <laughs> Oh my god, I, um, it's still happening. I'm gonna go sit in the shower for a while. Bye, Max. Neil, this is really I'm affecting I'm Max. I'm actually kind of surprised. I thought he'd be pissed. Did, the trick? did he reveal his secret? Masked magician style? No, but he did say that if I keep training, I could get a cool top hat like his. Nikki, you're <laughs> supposed to get him to teach you. I Nikki know, has a one-track mind. trick is only for a level four magician. He also said something about it being easy to figure out if you're smart enough anyway. Excuse me? It's He's okay, doing that civically to tick him off, isn't he? We can be stupid together. Oh, that's a good idea. Well, if he thinks it's so easy, I guess we might as well try it. You want to learn magic, Nikki? Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Well, consider yourself my apprentice now. I don't know, Neil. There's still so much I need to learn. I gotta reach level four, and I haven't even been sorted into a house yet. <laughs> this is Harry Potter. I'm sure my you level four as of this moment. Ooh, I feel all tingly. Now focus. We're gonna do this trick. And we're gonna do it with science. Oh my god, is he actually gonna like surgically hey. implant those things in somebody and be like, ta-da! Just like that, Eric's bed report cards disappeared. Right on, Harrison. I was just gonna throw him away, but that was way cooler. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please! Prepare to be oh god, by what the is that, Neil? Science. Ooh. It's cool if it was a sci experiment, doing? not uh, nothing. equations on Just the whiteboard. That any idiot with half a brain can do that trick you pulled off yesterday. Wait, uh, are you calling yourself an idiot, Neil? Shut up, space <laughs> kid! I'm trying to prove a point. Yeah, okay. You see, fellow campers, Harrison has been lying to you. <gasps> He would have you believe that things like magic really do exist. But we know that's not true. Magic goes against the very laws of nature. Everything can be explained by science. Even his tricks. So, can it though? Him wrong, oh my gosh, what I is that hook? To recreate his magic oh no, trick. no, 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 no. Neil, don't do this. No, no, no. You're not properly trained in the ways of magic. You shut your whore mouth, Why is that hook? Uh, oh my Someone gosh. Someone has to keep order in this chaotic uncertain world why is there a hook under it me neil are you sure about this i believe Nikki, start science, running Nikki. Nikki, start, start running Nikki, start in running. order to begin the trick i would ask my assistant to please open her mouth come do it you got it boss now look and be amazed oh my gosh as no, I no. the truth using my scientific equation no. which shows Stop. there is only Something like this is physically possible. Oh my god, science has gone too far. Neil, what are you doing? You make me do this, Harrison! Somebody stop him. It's too late. His mind has been freaked too hard. Where are the isn't, counselors? Isn't the hook supposed to be just put a happy little tree right here? On the other end? Like why is he shoving the hook first? Oh, he's so gonna massive. pull it out. I oh my like god, we I literally can't. Doing something. No. I don't remember if you're a paint along no, it's okay, don't worry about it. Oh my god, they're talking about a lot. 
Neil, this isn't how the trick works. You're going to kill her. The only thing I'm killing is your hocus pocus bullshit, Harrison. Here comes the rabbit, Nikki. So how is he gonna get that out of her? How do you feel? To be honest, I feel pretty good. Oh my god, someone call an ambulance. What do we do? What do we do? I can't do the Heimlich, I'm not certified. I can help her. I know a spell that will- No! No magic! Oh my gosh, Neil. As soon as I figure out how. There's no time. We have to use the spell. But it is powered by belief, Neil. It's like a spirit bomb. Neil, you must believe. <laughs> yeah, Neil. Believe in the magic. Believer, I punch you. Oh, hurry up, Neil. Put your ego aside, dude. Max, what do I do? <laughs> oh my I gosh. think I'm gonna be sick. Max is like, leave me out of this. I, I, I can't. Neil, just believe. Fine, yes, I believe. I believe in magic. Just do it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the greatest trick of all. Getting a cynical, close-minded asshole to believe in magic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But, but, but what about Nikki? Ta-da! Magic! <laughs> Wait, what? How? How are you okay, Nikki? I keep telling you, Neil. It's magic, silly. Wait, that's crazy. Listen. Wait, what? That's insane. That whole thing was a trick. Oh my god. He actually Harrison. He pulled one over on Neil. And me too. I was what? That's great. So can he actually do magic or not? Never explain that part. Oh my gosh. Alright, well <laughs> on to the next episode. Coffee, black, now! Huh? Morning, Max. What the hell's going on? We're in line for breakfast. Is anyone Jeez. serving <laughs> breakfast? Doesn't seem so. Why are they waiting in line? And no one thought to question anything. <laughs> Look, man, I'm a sheep. I don't ask <laughs> questions. <laughs> Just like the rest of us. Good morning, children. Guess who's got oh, two thumbs, God. diplomatic immunity, and is here to host the annual Lake Lilac Camporee? This guy! Oh, God. So do we get breakfast, or... Oh, place That's not ending well. And Campbell is a place for me and you. I'm telling you. We've got archery hiking, searching with hiking, going back, trading, nursing, film, a heart attack, swimming out of mining, keeping it with rhyming, football, limbo, science, stunting, food, that spaceships, treasure hunting, bomb diffusing, no refusal, fantasy, circus, trapeze, and fights, and ghosts, and fates, and snakes, and knives, and chess, and dance, and waiting, and dance. The Lake Lilac Camporee is today, and that means you little rascals will be competing in a series of 15 events, all of which will be submitted by the participating summer camps. The first five will be brought to us by Flower Scout Troop 789. The next five submitted by our neighbors, the Wood Scouts. <laughs> and the last five presented by my very own Camp Campbell Campbell. Why is he backwards? David, what the hell? No one told us about this. We've literally been telling you about it every day for weeks. Yeah, but we never listen to you guys. Put up flyers or something. So, like, what do we get if we win? Great question, little Sally. Sasha. Whatever. We brought in <laughs> hey. a panel of three unbiased Me. judges, all of whom are more than qualified to score your performances. The troop that with the highest is... score at the end of the day will go home with the coveted Campery Trophy, a year's supply of s'mores, and totally have a unbiased. picture featured on the front page of the Sleepy Peak Times Metropolitan section. Well, don't care about that shit. You want to <laughs> throw this whole thing and roast dance with a magnifying glass? <laughs> That's what I like about you, Neil. You get me. <clears throat> I love Excuse the... me, Mr. Campbell. That's such a good Might pair. I suggest we raise the stakes? Pikeman, what do you have in mind, sport? If Troop 818 wins this year's Camporee, Camp oh, Campbell will the signs. I'm an idiot. They're the, they're the team like scoreboards. I thought the judges were like representatives of like each camp or whatever. And campers to the Wood Scouts. Well, that is ridiculous. Mm. And what, and what did he say? 
If Troop 818 wins this year's Camperee, Camp Kimball will surrender its grounds and campers to the Wood Scouts. Well, that is ridiculous. Oh my gosh, they really are a cult. They're like, give us your win. campers. Sir, you can't possibly. We mm. hand over all earnings from our yearly popcorn sales. Darn it, Hedy, you know I got a crippling gambling addiction. Oh my god. So, of course, we accept. What? what? Let's <laughs> camp a diem. Well. All right, gang. We don't want to end Looks up with like Max is turning so into a wood scout. Together, it's the only chance we have at winning this thing. That's it's not a bunch happen. of prissy little girls. How bad can their challenge be? Um, excuse me. The Flower Scouts' first challenge will be a test of posture and proper walking form. Yeah. Precious. Not so. Not surprised. We'll oh my We'll start with the beginner's God. course as a show of good faith. Oh. Um. Oh. oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, Nikki did it. Well, it's not like the others can do any better. <laughs> okay, I doesn't seem fair at all. Oh, Your sacrifice okay. will not be in vain, Stefan Van Petrol. Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. Thank you. Honestly, if that's what they teach at that camp, that'd be pretty cool. And that's the end of round one. <laughs> well, it's not like they can win every other challenge. Please, Gwen. Come on now. And Look at who you're talking about. Oh my gosh. Let's pick up the pace, campers. I want me some popcorn money. And I want to see you all in Wood Scout uniforms. Yo, oh, David. No. I think I speak for all of us when I say I don't want to become some fascist militant peon. He does not speak for all of us. So <laughs> what's the <Of> plan? <laughs> Look, kids, I'm telling you, if you just work together and really start trusting one another, you can accomplish anything. That's Boo! crap advice. Give us actual <laughs> advice. <laughs> Seriously. Advice can't save you now, Campbell campers. It's time now to sabotage. The scouts march to glory. It's time to cheat. That's the only way they're getting saved. Entering the treacherous waters of the wilderness is an integral part of survival. Therefore, your first challenge is to row out to Spooky Island and back. Oh, that's a great cardio. And low impact. Uh, do we have anyone here for rowing camp? I can do it! Let me get at them both. Go. <laughs> oh, yikes. Stop. 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 Okay, no, wait, wait. Uh, wait. what's happening? Wait. Okay, no, wait. Oh, Nikki, come <laughs> on. Well, it's not like they can win every other. Guys, it's hopeless. Son of a bitch! <laughs> uh, nothing to <laughs> worry about. Start sabotaging. We just, you know, gotta believe in ourselves. Nope, we're bound. Fear not, sweet Gwendolyn. Once you work for the Wood Scouts, the only man you'll have to deal with in your life is me. You are disgusting. Mm. Disgusting. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Campers, we are winning that fucking trophy! How the hell do we do that? Cheat. By overcoming our differences Shut and up, working baby. together. No. Shut up! You are not going to work together. We're not? No, you're all terrible at it. But we've got something they don't. Subpar indoor plumbing. We've got the Psychotic most bizarre children. collection of campers with <laughs> niche talents and ridiculously specific skill sets Lake Lilac has ever seen. That's true. And subpar indoor plumbing. Yay! Uh, what is this? Round eleven. Create a stable batch of nitroglycerin. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I don't know how to do that. Um. Okay, it's just like baking, ladies. It's really not. Nitrogen. Oxygen? No. Petrol. Wait, wait! Oh my gosh. Done. Round 12. Illusion! Motorcycle repair. Destroy their one ring of power. <laughs> Round 15. Cross species communication. What? But that's impossible. <laughs> oh 
Only Nikki can yeah. do that. Oh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Cute! <laughs> uh, that was adorable though. Camp Campbell wins! Oh my gosh, yeah. that actually won. Yeah. 100 XP for everyone! Well, I think we all learned a valuable lesson today. Don't ever work, work together. together. Yeah, no? exactly. Yeah. Things really seem to turn around when we each just did our own thing. Mm -hmm. But guys, that's a really narrow-minded way of looking at this. David, no one cares. <laughs> Great work today, oh, counselors. Yeah. Thanks to you, I made fifty dollars. All well, for fifty back to bucks. Thailand. Apparently, they need running water. <laughs> I don't get it. You guys are doing fine. I hate this place. Oh, look at David's face. Down, cowboys! He was so sad when he said I hate this place, but I David, totally understand our no sentiment. <sighs> I just don't get it. I loved summer camp as a kid. What changed? Um, you know, a lot. <gasps> That's it. No. You don't get it. No. It's not gonna change anything. David, uh, a freaking wooden staff isn't going to change your issues with your students. He's totally missing the mark. Um, maybe they don't like going to camp because, you know. They don't want to actually be there. They were forced to be there. Usually people forced to be somewhere are very, you know, hostile to towards that place. Maybe we try connecting them connecting to them on an emotional level. Maybe that would work. I don't know. But like, yeah, anyways. That was fun. That was crazy. The magic from the from episode 10? Like what? Like, well, I'm so confused. Can he actually do magic? Or was that a trick? Or what was the trick? Or That was such a cruel trick, too. But I totally understand, though. Because Neil was totally undermining his whole thing. So he got back at him. So, honestly, Harrison was, you know... He was justified in doing that. He got payback, you know what I'm saying? An eye for an eye, I guess. Um, it was so... Max was just very, like, sussed out. I feel like after, like, the whole, like... Spooky Island episode, I feel like nothing could make Max uncomfortable, like suss him out after that. I feel like that was peak traumatization for Max, but then here, but then that episode, he was just like, no, like, I'm very comfortable. He probably felt very violated. He probably was confused in how he was literally throwing up, like, circus de decorations and a little, like, a bouquet of flowers and a dove. He's just like, what's going on? Maybe he felt violated in that way, and that's why he was just so, like, distraught. Literally the most emotion we've seen in him at all was in that episode. And this episode with the Campery thing, I really like that. They worked, they won by not working together, which is very interesting. Which is, honestly, is probably for the best. They all have individual quirks. They kind of work together by not working together, you know? They all have their own individual little quirks and niches that they all do, and somehow... It all kind of works in this camp, sort of. Um, but yeah, so that's the, you know, they work together without actually working together. Like somehow it all works, you know? They're all different, but they all are still friends for the most part. They all care about each other for the most part, you know? So, yeah, interesting. It's cute. I like that. I like Nikki with the dog. She's just like, kill. <laughs> oh my gosh, who died? Alright, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. That's gonna be it for today's episode. We got one more episode left of season one. Um, I'm excited to finish and then go on to season two. I'm curious, I would like to see more. Cause season two looks like there are a lot longer episodes. And so I think they'll probably have the, se the season fleshed out a little bit more as well as the story fleshed out a little bit more. So I'm really intrigued to like see what's up with season two. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. That's for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And turn on notifications to notified up the new video. Follow me on my socials. Link in the description down below to see more of my face. And that's going to be it for today's video. I'll see you next time. Bye.